mild summer's day at a popular horse racing event. The weather is warm, the breeze is softly blowing. Conditions are perfect for the time-old art of wooing to commence. This is Barry. Hi. Barry is the tea boy in his office. Barry still lives at home. Barry doesn't have any friends. Barry has had sex once in his life. When Barry had sex, it was a monumental failure. Barry has no attractive qualities. Barry eats Cornish pasties every day. Barry has little reason to live. However, Barry, confused by the warm summer breeze and empowered by the four lager shandies he had consumed that day, was ready once more to ride on the proverbial love-making horse. He had made a couple of weak attempts to catch a drunken woman on her way out of the toilets with little success. Even the woman lying on the floor, covered in vomit, shouting, have me, turned him down flat. Things were not looking good. This is Shirley. Hi. Shirley likes to drink white wine spritzers out of a trough. She has a job working behind the till at Asda. She records all episodes of Emmerdale and keeps them all just in case. She got a ticket to today's racing by letting an 85-year-old man touch her breast. Shirley came to the races today hoping to look suave and sophisticated, hoping to bag herself a rich man to sweep her off her feet. Well, she got swept off her feet by the cleaner and tripped right in front of a group of wags. The sounds of their cackle still resonating in her head, she has found shelter in the fluffy pillows of a burger bun. As you can see, she has lost the will to try. In fact, she has lost the will to live. Q. Barry. Hi. Where'd you get the burger? I uh, couldn't find a van anywhere. I love burgers. Oh, Barry, this is not the start we were hoping for. First, you have pointed out that she's eating a burger and therefore insinuated that she is a fat cow. And then you somewhat tried to empathize with her situation by saying that you too enjoyed these meaty treats and just ended up sounding a touch on the creepy side. Continue. I don't know. Somewhere down there, I think. It's good though. They give you extra onions and chilli sauce for no extra charge. Nice. So you're gonna stink. Is that the image you wanted to put across, Shirley? You're gonna honk of onions and chilli. Not sexy, I'm afraid. Maybe they uh, gave you extra onions and chilli because you're so beautiful. Well played, but seriously weird. You come beautiful. Yeah. Your eyes the same colour as my Corsa. <laughs> wow. Really? Yeah, they uh they shine like it's bumper. <laughs> Enough, Barry, stop with the car reference. For some reason she bought it the first time, but stop while the going's good. Let's go. Cool. You been to the races? Yeah. You? Yeah. Yeah. Do you enjoy it? What a stimulating exchange. Yeah. You win any money? No. I lost money. <laughs> so did I, huh? Now they are celebrating their mediocrity. I can already see their kids. God help them. So do you live around here? The question. This is the crucial moment. That one question can answer many. The answer to this can change the course of an evening, indeed a lifetime. Nah, not really. Oh, shot down. It's not too far though, it's about a ten minute ride in a cab. That, Shirley, my dear, is what we call close. No one was asking you if you lived closer than that, you fool. Go on, Barry, go on, my son. All right. I live quite far. Do you know what time it is? Half eleven. Crap. I missed my last train. Barry, you are good. I'll give you that. That is a classic move. Can't get home. Brilliant. Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I bet you will. It's 
my cap. It's nice to meet you. Barry. Barry. Oh, Barry. I'm speechless. You played a good and virtually faultless game of desperate pulling. I salute the effort. I... Are you coming? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm coming. Barry is coming. And so concludes another drunken chapter in both their lives. Can two pathetic souls find their counterpoint in one another? Do we care? Until next time.